Right guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be unboxing the whole wave of AW Unmatched Series 2 and man, I can't believe this is finally here. This looks like it could be one of the best AW Unrivaled sets they've ever released. I've had this in the box now for about two days and I've finally got the time here to unbox these and I cannot wait to get into this. I know they are currently in stock on ringside, but if you guys want to go check out Superpower Toys or Wrestle HQ, I do believe they are stocking the Sting. They may have a pre-order for this, so Sting will definitely be uh, the main one you're after. So if you go over to their website, see any figures you want, use code BALAFIGS at checkout, save 10%, go do that now, buy some figures for Christmas. Now I know the setup is a bit shabby, I mean look, we've got pinboard up there, we've got black and then white, the, the setup's a bit, it's a bit all over the place, but if we just zoom in a bit... Uh, yeah, let's just move this camera a little bit. Uh, we'll just do that there. So yeah, we're going to be opening the whole collection here, um, starting from the top. So I suppose we will start with Mr. MJF, looking very nice in this black and pink gear from Revolution last year with his match with Cody. Uh, so this will actually look real nice with the Cody figure, uh, the Chase 1 of 1000 orange attire. But we'll move these out the way for now. And uh, put them down here. So, yeah, we can get a nice shot of MGF right there. Looking great. I have enjoyed MGF's other figures. And I can already see he is missing the white wrist tape on this side. Uh, which would have been a nice change. And comes with the microphone, of course. Currently involved in a big feud with CM Punk. Cannot wait for that match. But let's go ahead and unbox the MGF. Probably the one people are least excited for in this set. But I definitely want to see how it compares to the other ones in the set. I don't know why his head scan... Looks a bit funny. He is number 14 in the series, as you can see there. Series 2 unmatched. I do believe CM Punk is in unmatched series 3 or 4. So hopefully we get pre-orders for those soon. And, man, I do think um, the the wave spells Luminaires or something with the boxes on the side. I don't, what does that even mean? I, I don't know. I don't know why Sting's box is different. Can someone tell me why they've done that? <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go ahead and unbox the MGF. Obviously, we can't unbox this figure safely since it is the aw unrivaled packaging and i don't care i don't have room to store these boxes so i'm gonna rip the shit out of this and his head flopped right off nice push his head back on there man that looks pretty great i do like the robe this is better than you on the back of course the signature catchphrase he's got the dynamite diamond ring um he may have actually lost this by the time this video comes out because i have not watched Winter is coming yet, um, and he does have another one there, but it's an open hand, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, let's take the robe off and get a good look at the attire. Uh, okay, so there he is. Uh, they did put the plastic around the waist and arms and everything, so that's annoying. Even Actually, it's, it's probably good. It stops the paint rub. I can already see a bit of paint rub on one arm. He's got the elbow pad there with a nice design on. I can't remember if... The other ones had this on or not. Boom, there he is with the robe off and the plastic looking very nice. The red and black attire is pretty standard, to be honest. Uh, I think they've made a lot of MGF so far and there's more to come. Um, I mean, I understand why. He's definitely one of the most popular stars there. Um, so yeah, I get why they are making loads, but you know they are quite similar. Um, but I'm not complaining. I'll take another MGF. Uh, this might be my favourite one. I don't know. I really like the, the white... The red tights on the first one, I actually do have the chase one as well, still in the box. The uh, pink tights, which I think is probably my favourite, actually, uh, attire-wise. And, yeah, this looks pretty great. Pretty standard MGF. You know, if you've got the other ones, you probably don't need this. Unless you do want the dynamite diamond ring. But I think that came with his other ones anyway. So that's real nice that they included that and the microphone. So you get a good little, uh, decent amount of accessories here. But, uh, yeah, it's another MGF, so you probably don't need it. But uh, he is better than you, so go and buy it. That did not make any sense. I will probably rank these at the end of the video, from my least favourite to my favourite. I don't think MGF will be up there looking at some of the other figures in this set. But it's a good figure, you know, it's just, it's just average. If he would stand up, god damn it. And you guys know what the other MGF figures look like. I can't be bothered to get them all out. So, yeah, screw it. Um, there we have MGF right there. Uh, the drawers are just too packed of figures, I can't be bothered to reach through and find the other ones. But here we do have Santana, which looks very nice. Um, still haven't debuted Proud and Powerful or LAX, whatever, in BFW. 
but these figures do look real nice. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and crack this up, and he is number 10 in this series. And it's got a U there for Luminaires. This is boring. Let me just open this. My setup is so bad, man. My tripod's fallen over. Everything's gone wrong. Now, here is Santana out of the packaging, and man, this looks great. I absolutely love this one. I love the camo attire with the orange blended in and everything. Same toss was the last one. New head scans, I think. I love the hair on this. That looks great, especially the screaming head scan. That looks great. He has two fisted hands and two gun finger hands again. Sadly, no mic holding hands, which I'm quite disappointed about. Um, if this figure had those, it would be perfect, I think. But yeah, Santana looks very cool in this gear. Um, if you shoved a Kenny torso on this, you could probably use this as like a Kenny Omega camo or New Japan attire or something, I don't know. But yeah, he looks great. Pretty similar to the Wave 2. Uh, is it, was it Wave 2? No, Wave Wave 4 Santana. Um, yeah, it definitely improved. Love the head sculpts on these. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to say about that. It actually says something on here. Yeah, it says Santana on his overalls down the side. So that's cool. Got a nice gold trim around the shoes and everything. The black kick pads, black knee pads. Santana looking great. Here he is next to MJF. Yeah, I think that's about right. So, oh. Yeah, let's put him... Right, so I just recorded a whole bit and I forgot I was, wasn't recording. But next we do have Santana, the tag team partner. No, oh my god. <laughs> Up next we have Ortiz, the tag team partner of Santana. And this figure looks great. His Wave 4 one was pretty good. Didn't really like the shirt on it. So I'm glad this one doesn't have the Inner Circle shirt on. Uh, he is number 11 in this set, Series 2. From the 1st of July 2020, these attires are. And yeah, let's go ahead and open him. So guys, here is Ortiz in the hand. And man, this feet, this figure feels so good in the hand. It feels super poseable and everything. Man, I absolutely love this guy. The head scan looks great. He comes with some open mic holding hands that are gloved. He's got the open, you know, like tiger style hands or whatever. And then the regular head scan looking pretty great. But man, this one is great. I think this might be better than the Santana. I'm not sure. I love the overalls, camo look and everything. He looks great. Man, this set is pretty great. You know, Unrivaled have had a few mess sets up till now. And Unrivaled Series 8 doesn't look that great. I mean, it's got best friends in. But Trent's kind of outdated now, which I don't really mind. And the rest of the set we've already seen before. So yeah, Unmatched Series 2 is definitely a nice breath of fresh air. Um, even though we've already seen these guys before, but these attires are much improvements from the other ones. So, yeah, we'll go into the next one now. Up next, we do have Wardlow. Definitely looking forward to this one. So happy to have a Wardlow figure. Never heard of him before AEW, and I think they're doing a great job at the slow build, because, you know, he's going to turn on MJF one day, and, you know, I love his character work and everything like that, and he's very impressive in the ring. Um, yeah, definitely a future champion for sure. And I'm really excited to finally get this figure. You know, the Lance Archer figure, that was another big guy, pretty good. The Jake Hager wasn't that great, but it was okay. Uh, Luchasaurus could have been amazing, but they kind of botched the articulation and everything like that. But yeah, let's go ahead and crack open Wardlow. Hopefully he's a bit better than some of those, and I cannot wait to um, see how this is. Here is Wardlow looking great out of the packaging, but also looking pretty darn angry. This looks great, you know, it's pretty standard, it's just a black singlet with a bit of green on there. He's got the knee pads, he's got the big boots. Uh, his arms were a little short, just like the Lance Archer figure, which is a bit annoying. Um, I do really like the head sculpts, to be honest. I think they look great. Um, could be better, I think, but I've definitely seen worse. He comes with two fisted hands as well, and his little baby, baby hands. Um, but if we stand him right here, next to MJF, he looks pretty good i think i think that's about right he maybe should have been a bit taller um but you know he's more he's more he's not really that tall i mean he's tall but compared to some people he's just a lot more broad uh and, and things like that but yeah this waddler looks great gonna hit some f10s on people and uh you know power bombing people about 10 times in the ring until he decides to make a cover if you know you know so yeah waddler looking pretty great he towers over Ortiz, kind of, uh, especially if you stretch the legs all the way. And yeah, there's Wardlow, super happy with that guy. And you know, the quality on these guys feels so much better than, you know, the previous Unrivaled Waves. I don't know what it is, they just feel a lot more 
you know, um, like they're not going to break or anything like that. And nothing's loose so far, so that's fantastic. That's the worst thing when you get new figures is when it's loose. But yeah, up next we do have one that I was going to sell. I still don't know. Um, I don't know, it looks cool. We're going to open Ty Conti. And yeah, I was originally going to sell this because I'm not a big fan of the women figures in AEW. I've sold the shader, the brick baker, everything like that. But I think this one looks very cool. Um, and yeah, Ty Conti on the back there and I, I actually don't know who's the chasers in this figures it's sting and someone else is it mgf i think it is mgf uh, i thought it was ty conti there but apparently not but yeah this will be a pretty cool addition to the bfw women's division whenever that returns <laughs> don't know when that'll be but um yeah let's go ahead and crack this open and here is ty conti out of the packaging and uh, looking pretty great the green attire is awesome i think it really you know stands out um, and the head scans are pretty good as well. They are different, believe it or not. And I think they both look pretty good. I think they look like her. And these guys actually have... Uh, the, the, this woman figure actually has rotating boots, which is great. Uh, so many figures don't have the rotating boots, so that's great that they have it. Uh, the knee pad's a bit twisted, but I think it's okay. But yeah, this looks great. Um, might have to pick up the Britt Baker and the Rosa, maybe, um, in the future. The Rosa? Who's Rosa? Thunder Rosa, no, what am I in about? Sheeda, I mean, I might have said Rosa before. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm not interested in that feud, all right? Um, Britt Baker and Sheeda it is. So, yeah, this is a great women's figure. If you guys definitely want to add this to the women's division in your fed or whatever, or your collection, definitely grab it. It's definitely probably the best women's figure they've made. Um, the only other one I've opened before is Riho, and that was okay. Uh, the head scan was a bit bad, but, yeah. Anyways, now move on. To the one everyone's wanting. But yeah, we're going to open this guy right here. Uh, Sting looking very nice. Again, I don't know why this is... Why does he get special boxes, alright? That's not fair. Uh, Luminaires. I know he does have a Walmart exclusive as well as a Chase figure. Um, so they'd be cool to get. But this attire is from his debut at Winter is Coming last year. So, man, I cannot wait to open this. I hope we get a two-pack with him in Derby or something. Um, and Sting actually did return at BFW WrestleMania. Uh, so go watch that. Sting was probably going to be in action at Winter is Here. Uh, BFW Winter is Here. Um, but man, this looks great. Mock as well. I kind of want to get one to keep Mock. Not going to lie. Uh, I know Ringside. I checked Ringside to see what they were charging for this. And Sting is like $10 more than all the rest. Don't know why that is. That's kind of unfair. But yeah, he's definitely going to be one to pick up. And here is the icon Sting in all of his glory in his new unmatched figure. Man, this jacket is awesome. I wish it was cloth so, you know, he could move his arms and everything. But, you know, it's just so detailed and everything. Got the Scorpion logo on the back. Got the great head scan. Man, I love his WWE figure, the one that I have. The um, Define the Moments fix-up. But, yeah, this is great as well. He's got the AW Sting merch on. He's got the baseball bat, of course. And two fisted hands down there. Let's go ahead and take this off. Looks easy to take off. The rubber's not that stiff. And yeah, he's got his jumper on. And you can definitely see, you know, how baggy it is. And this is kind of how he wrestles most of the time. Um, so that's great. Yeah. Sting looking awesome. He's got his boots on there with the little Scorpion logo on, which is very nice. You know, they could have easily left that out. But that's cool. And then the trousers going down. That looks a bit weird. But I imagine that's how it was. And yeah, Sting looking great. We'll probably get more Stings down the line, I imagine. Um, since, you know, Mattel can't make Stings anymore, so they may as well milk the hell out of that. Um, but yeah, Sting looking great. And wow, guys, what a set. Absolutely love all of these figures. Honestly, this has been, you know, a big change in the AW Waves. Because, you know, Wave 6 was pretty average. Wave 7 was okay. Wave 8 looks okay. And, uh, man, yeah, it's been a while since we've had a, a proper wave like this that, you know... Um, feels like big time. I think it's probably since wave four, I imagine, with you know all those great figures in there. That was that wave was probably the most consistently good, if that even makes sense. But yeah, I'm gonna rank these now. So in number six, we do have MGF just because it's a re-release with a repaint, but still a nice attire. Then we're gonna go with Santana, as much as I hate to do it, uh, but I do really like the uh, uh, attire on that. Then we're gonna go with. Ty Conti, just because it's a women's figure, I probably won't use it as much as these guys, but um, I really do uh, enjoy it and how it looks and everything. And then we're going to go with, oh, this is a tough one, probably going to go with Sting, because, you know, I do like the Mattel Stings, but this is real nice to have and everything, and the head scan is great. 
And then the final two, Ortiz and Wardlow. This is tough. This is tough. Because I have no idea. Will Sting stand up? Um, I don't know what to do. I'd probably give it to Ortiz, to be honest, just because of the detail on this guy and everything. It is insane. Just how I don't know why I like it so much, but yeah, I'm going to go with Ortiz and Wardlow could definitely be improved. But all these figures are great, guys. Definitely a hard rank to make here. And yeah, go pick these up wherever you buy your figures from. Check out WrestleHQ using code BALAFIGS at checkout to save 10%. Uh, I think they have the sting up, so go and buy that now. Uh, I imagine it will be quite hard to find. Uh, that's if it even is still available, so go check that out. And yeah, let me know if you guys have any of these figures in the collection. Uh, thank you for watching. Leave a like on the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.